Happy New Year, my dear friends! I can't believe 2019 was like a comet. Shoo, it's gone. Speaking of stars, I got this notebook with Zodiac Leo on the cover. If you noticed, so I decided to use Zodiac as my 2020 bullet journal setup theme. Actually, I just found out that there are different versions of Zodiac: the simple version, the complicated version, I guess, which confused me a lot when I did research because I'm not a real Zodiac person. But anyway, I like how this page turned out, and let's add more stars so we can start with our setup journey. I only started doing bullet journal a month ago, but I found it very helpful to organize my daily stuff, to track sleep, mood, especially my habit, and just make my life so productive. After the key, let's do the year in glance. This stamp is such a helper because my handwriting numbers are terrible. I don't want to use too much color in the setup, so I just go with black and then use the white gel pen to write on top. At this moment, I still like to put Sunday at the beginning of a week, but if you want, you can just put Sunday and Saturday together at the end. Again, let's use gold paint to draw some stars and also highlight those important days of the year, like birthday, anniversary, and Christmas. Let's go back to the K page. I think it's a little bit lonely to have nothing on it, so I just draw a moon and some stars. Like I said, I started bullet journal in December, so it's also in this notebook. That's why I made seven circles on the first page and six circles on the next page to make them all fitting. And then we start to write all the months on it. At the beginning, I didn't really get why people use this page because. Probably I'm not as busy as you guys, but after I use this for a month now, I think it's actually pretty good. You can write down the notes for every month. As a beginner on YouTube, I also draw this tracker on the bottom of the page. Same thing. Let's do it again on the next page for July onto December. At the time I made this resolution page, I haven't really figured out what exactly my resolution is gonna be. So in this video, I'm just gonna leave it blank. But I do have a plan what to draw for the next year. So let's put some stars to make your own zodiac sign. On this page, you could also use it as money saving tracker or traveling plan, whatever you want to track for the whole year. For me, I'm using it to track or take notes for every month's drawing topic. I know a lot of people do year in pixels about their mood or happiness, but I wanted to make about productivity. And yes, I noticed I spelled that word wrong. This page could also be used to track whatever you think is the most important for you, like if you're eating healthy every day, if you did enough workout, or you know, just being productive or happy. Let's move on to what I want to read and watch for the next year.、Uh, I leave enough space for movie because I know I love movie and I'm gonna watch a lot. And then there's TV shows and books. Let's add this popcorn here and TV and some books. As for the memory of 2020, because I don't have a Polaroid camera, what I usually do is to print and cut to the shape I want. That's why here I only left one page, which is enough for me. But if you want to use Polaroid photo, then just a tape. This one spread is good enough for six pictures. Some people use body tracker with really specific details. I'm just going to track weight for myself and also for my husband. As a real, real fresh man in YouTube, I do believe big things often have small beginnings. I quit my job from a U.S. top five architecture company because I want to figure out what I really want to do, and hopefully, I can find a real me in 2020. So yeah, this is my 2020 bullet journal setup. 
I'm really new in bullet journal field, but I really enjoy making this. And I really hope this video is helpful or inspiring for you. Happy New Year!